Hello there. Okay. So for today we will look into uh, example 6.2.3. Okay. So this one you have a uniform ladder. Okay. Uh, AB. So length given as 10 meter. And then it has a mass of 5 kg. Okay. So leans against a smooth wall. Okay. So the smooth wall will be over here. Point A. Smooth wall. Okay and then you have the height okay of the n a of the ladder eight meter lah, okay from the rough floor okay so we have a height of uh, eight meter okay so this one they wanted to determine the horizontal and vertical forces okay the floor exert on the end of the ladder okay so this one you have a firefighter okay you have a firefighter mass given 60 kg 3 meter from B okay uh, so point B we have a rough floor lah, okay given in the diagram okay so for problem solving okay this type of problem uh, first thing what you need to do is that you need to determine the pivot point or a fixed point okay so the only possibility for the ladder to rotate will be at this point lah, okay point B okay I uh, have a possibility to rotate so point B we put it as a fixed point or the rotational point lah. okay <coughs> okay so and then we need a free body diagram okay so point A it's in contact with surface okay so you'll have a normal force over here so let's put it as normal force N1 lah. okay and point B, it's also in contact. Okay, you'll have a normal force. Let's put it as normal force N2. Okay, so since we have a rough surface, okay, you will have friction. Okay, the possibility of the ladder moving will be in this direction. Okay, movement. Uh, so that means the frictional force will be in opposite direction. Okay, it's in opposite direction. Okay. And then uh, we have the mass of the firefighter. Okay, so over here firefighter 3 meter. And then the mass of the ladder. Okay, 5 meter which will be located at the center of the gravity. Okay, so since we have the length 10 meter and then over here height 8 meter. Okay, you can determine this length. Okay, so we should end up with 6 meter lah over here. Okay from the wall to point B okay now what we are going to do is that we need to determine the uh, total X okay Y and also you need to determine the torque okay okay so before that okay what we need to do is that you need to determine the angle lah, okay so let's say this one we have the internal angle over here A okay so now let's say I draw a bigger triangle Okay, so this one over here will be perpendicular. Okay, so angle A. So let's say for example. Okay, so this one we have a length of 10 meter. Over here you have 8 meter. And then over here you have 6 meter. Okay, uh, we can use either one function. So let's say we use function of sine A. Okay. Uh, equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse which will end up over 6 over 10 okay so therefore angle you will end up with 36 point uh, something lah so this one I get about 36.9 degrees okay okay so since this one we have the angle <coughs> uh, what you can do is that you can draw two smaller diagram lah okay so for the center of the gravity ladder okay so center of the gravity ladder uh, so it's located 5 meter okay so draw a smaller triangle okay so this one will be 5 meter so over here angle a okay <coughs> now the force will be acting over here downward Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to find the perpendicular distance. 
Uh, so for perpendicular distance, what you can do is that you can use a function of sine. Lah. Okay, so where sine A will be equivalent to opposite. Okay, so let's say I put it as uh, length x lah. Okay, over 5. Uh, so you can use and then solve it. So A already determined. Okay, you can determine the value of length x. Okay. Uh, so this one for the ladder ladder lah okay 5 meter and then firefighter 3 meter okay same method okay so the angle will be the same 3 meter so over here still angle a okay uh, so that means sin a will be equivalent to let's say i use length y lah over 5 okay uh, now you can determine the length over here <coughs> Okay, so we go back to the table. Okay, so mass of the ladder. Okay, no x component zero. Okay, so y component. Okay, mass of the ladder five kg lah. Okay, so this one five times g. Okay, so later you solve it lah. Okay, to determine the value. All right. So, to determine the torque, okay. Uh, so, this one, <coughs> you will have torque, okay. So, this is the center of the rotation. So, the torque will be acting downward, okay. So, which will be in, okay, anti-clockwise, okay. So, for the firefighter, so in same direction, okay, anti-clockwise. Uh, so, that means you will end up with positive value, lah okay uh, so what you need to do is that you just insert this value okay uh, 5g times with the perpendicular distance okay so which will end up with the value of lx lah. okay so solve it okay multiply with the value of lx okay uh, so this one you will obtain the value of the torque okay and then continue with firefighter okay so firefighter mass given are uh, 60 kg okay so x component 0 <coughs> okay 60 times with g okay so you end up with 60 g okay so this one okay we use ly okay uh, so later you solve it okay so this one have a correction over here it should be 3 meter lah. Okay. 3 meter. Okay. Solve it. You'll end up with the total value of the torque. Okay. Okay. So, N1. Okay. So, acting toward your right. Okay. Unknown. Okay. So, this one will be 0. Okay, now this one, the perpendicular distance. Okay, so N1 over here. <coughs> okay, so the perpendicular distance from the rotational motion. Okay, so this one you will end up with 8. Lah. Okay, from the surface over here to over here. Okay, 8. So that means you will end up with 8 or N1. Lah. Okay. Okay, now this one, the rotation will be in clockwise. Okay, so you end up with a negative value. Lah. Okay. <coughs> Zero for N2. Okay, no X component. Y component acting upward. Positive N2. Okay, so this one, do we have any torque produced? Okay, so this one, no torque. That means you will end up with zero. Lah. Okay. Okay, frictional force, negative direction, negative frictional force, static friction. Okay, Y component 0 and then torque also will be 0. Okay. Okay, now once you have solved this. <coughs> okay. Uh, so, you can solve for torque first. Lah, okay. Uh, solve it for torque first. Okay. Uh, because over here we only have one unknown. Lah, okay. Uh, so, once you have done with this, okay, you can determine value of N1 uh, and then you can solve for X component. Okay, solve it for X component. Okay, 
Uh, so this one first solving okay solve this one first number one and then number two you'll end up with friction lah. okay uh, and then you also can solve it for y component okay because you have other two value uh, just unknown is n2 lah. okay so solve it you will end up with the value of n2 okay uh, so i hope that you can follow okay uh, try back the step okay try to solve it uh, so once you have done with a uh, question b you can try it by yourself okay the same method now what happened is that the only change is that the firefighter is seven meter okay uh, from five meter he climbs up to seven meter okay uh, so this one you have the free body diagram fbd uh, just go through the previous step lah, okay uh, do it like the previous one you should be able to solve it and get the answer okay uh, so good luck okay uh, try it out first